How's it going, my friends? This is Ionicus. And today we're taking a look at Transformers 1 Optimus Prime from Studio Series. 112 with the number. See Transformers here, the Autobot logo. Transformers 1 Studio Series Optimus Prime. There's Optimus and Studio Series 112 on that side. Full body shot in there. On this side, you got both modes. I got on the stuff. Legal bullshit there and there. Transformers one on the top. Uh, this is my first Transformers one figure from either the main line or the studio series. I really haven't seen too many of this. I've seen like the little basic stuff, but the actual regular figures, I don't think I've, all I've seen is like Alpha Trion. So, finding him at the local Target, I was pretty happy about. Picked him up. Oh my god. So, let's go ahead and get him out of the box and check him out. And welcome to Anakin's Toy Reviews. And here we have Optimus Prime out of the box. And he looks good. We got the great head sculpt. We got the reds. The translucent blue on the chest. The kind of off gray. The forearms and upper legs and all here. And gray here. A little bit of yellow on the feet. He's pretty good. His head can rotate 360. He's a little tight, which is good. His arms can rotate 360. Should be able to. I think we catch a little bit on the side over here. He can do a T pose. And there's a butterfly joints in the shoulders too. And granted that's a lot towards transformation, but that's still it works. It's very cool. There's a bend of the elbow and a, a swivel there at the elbow as well. And the hands can swivel as well. There isn't really a a waist swivel, but it's in the in the chest and this can go up and down. Lean that up. See, so you can kick forward. And so you can kick back. Let the ball joint is very tight, which is cool. There's a rotation there in the upper knee and the bend of the knee. You go all the way up that far. And there's a hinge here at the foot. And the front of the foot can. Go up and down. So overall, he's a good figure. He's got great posability. Details on him are nice. It's a really cool version of Transformers 1 Optimus Prime. Or Orion Pax. I'm not sure which one it looks. I haven't seen Transformers 1, so I suck. Comes with a bunch of accessories. He comes with... This, which is like little blasters to go in the front of his vehicle mode. And they can peg in right here. You got two smokestacks. I think they're red painted silver. And they can just plug into the side of the shoulders right, right there. And right there, and his axe can go in his hand like that, or that whichever way works best and 
Nope. Go back down. And if you open the chest up, take the matrix, and it can plug in right there. And so he's also able to hold it. There's all these little slots on the hands. You see that little peg right there? They're able to slot in right there and right there. I don't know why I can't do it. I did it before, but now I can't do it. That's that whole being able to do things on camera and not doing it. This is like. There we go. Then the matrix can go right there. And yeah, now you can see it through the translucent plastic. Which is fine, but I'm not supposed to know that it's there. For his transformation, you rotate the head 360, hold it that way, and push it down like that. You bring this back piece up, and you rotate it 360 because it will hold off into there. Rotate the chest up like that. I'll do that right. this part right here Supposed to collapse in here, but I don't know why. Oh, I'll be right back. I finally got it. It's supposed to slide right into here. See this? That's the hinge there. Go to that, and then there's a hole right here on each side, and that just pegs into there. And that piece just kind of plugs into there. Straighten out the arms. those up you rotate these like that bring that back around and 
bring that up. Bring the legs back. I rotated the upper waist and you really don't need to do that. You peg the legs together. Uh, bring those up a little bit and bend slightly at the knee. There's uh, pegs here on the side that go into these holes right there. here here and here the axe can go can plug in here but I I'm not gonna try to do that it's a pain in the ass and this can plug in If I mess something up on this transformation, let me know in the comments down below. And see, so got the guns here, and the smokestacks can be guns. I like his truck mode. Looks pretty good. Let me uh, flip this around, put him back into his robot mode, and give you my final thoughts in just a moment. So I kind of forgot to do a, a size comparison. So here we go. Here's Transformer Cybertron Long Rack. Um. Here's 
Here is Marvel Legends Chris Star. Doesn't want to stand. There you go. Take a long rack out. Here is Jadro Classified Trip Warrior. Um, Here is McFarlane Spawn The Max is for comparison, uh, I'm gonna take Chris Star out. And here is Bendy Optimus Prime from Transformers Armada. I see he's slightly smaller. And it looks pretty good to get next to each other. Uh, now I'll get back to my final thoughts in just a moment. So Transformers Studio Series Optimus Prime from Transformers 1 is a really good figure. I've been having fun messing with him for the past couple of days. Like getting him completely into truck mode is a little annoying. There we go. I had to fix the shoulder. It can be kind of annoying. But it's still a really good figure. Uh, I can't put this part in. It's supposed to peg inside here. But I do have a gun for him. I think this came from some weird kind of dollar store looking Optimus Prime. It's molded in this gray plastic. I've used it in several of the other videos of mine over the last couple of years. There he goes. Now he's armed up, ready to go. Uh, if you find him in the stores, I would definitely suggest picking him up. He's a great figure. Transformation can be a little wonky. His joints are really, really tight. I'm especially the leg joints. I'm afraid I'm going to snap them. So please be careful. Uh... It's weird. Like, oh, his joints are too tight. Usually they're very loose and floppy. Not this case, but it's still a great figure. 10 out of 10. I don't care what anybody says. Hasbro has been killing it with a lot of their figures lately from across the lines. They're really good. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite uh, Transformers 1 moment was. I really got to see this. Uh... Like, share, subscribe, whack that bell for notifications, and just remember to keep in those toy aisles. I'll see you guys next time. Later.